was a leader of opposition. And when, um, because I give you experience, when we're going to do a boycott, we call all of us, sit and agree. And when you're boycotting parliament, you don't boycott a portion. We're not going to be in house. We're not going to the committees. You don't travel out. Nowadays, you don't even eat food. Because if you have refused to work, would you eat? So this boycott of these people nowadays, where you are busy on the flights, you are busy in the committee meetings because it's allowance. You are busy in the field, you are in the canteen eating food, eating two plates of food. It's very dangerous. That's why I don't agree with them. Now, what are you boycotting for? We should all agree. So this boycott should be total. And uh, they must agree with all parties. And for me, we have told the FDC is whip. But tell us, where did you agree to boycott? I, I went to parliament, they started castigating me when I went for the oil what? law. I knew oil law is worse as if it passes without us making a comment. It's going to kill the people of Uganda. When somebody dies, they bring in parliament, you say we have suspended the boycott, we go to parliament. Why do you leave a law which is going to kill the whole people of what? Uganda? Please, these are double standards and I, when I look at them, I just say they are young boys and young girls. But of course, some people have personal interests. You see, you can tell me, you, let me tell you, I come from FDC. When NUP was opening an office, it, it, it took Okaija and Rukwago and said, this is the president of FDC and this is the secretary general. So who are type of persons are those? They don't know where power is. So if they are dealing with those ones, they don't want to tell the MPs not to, not to boycott, not to boycott. But the ones of mine, I'm going to say, I don't know NUP. Eh? I would say, no, for us as FDC, as a party, we don't know NUP because they don't respect us. I, I hope you are getting it. There are things we do which must work together. An opposition must work in the, uh, as a team. And why, if you are calling people for opening an office, why would you call, or, if I'm going to open my house, eh? I don't have to call on FDC. I should call the whole, because... I can in the West here and strong and hungry. I I have friends across the divide. The NRMs, the DPs and what. We only go there when we're going to do politics. But when we're going to eat food, you need uh, to say I need the NRF this is only to come and eat. It's wrong. They uh, Nupi should have invited all parties to come, but not go and go and select the street boys and call them that they are the members of uh, they are people of a party. That's that's useless. In uh my presentation to you, I reiterated our resolve to carry on the boycott of plenary sittings and the continued attendance to committee meetings and other oversight activities to which members are obliged. Today, the Shadow Cabinet has met in our routine of Tuesday every morning and the major was again the ratio. We have uh, resolved to reassert our continuation of the boycott of plenary sittings until government is ready and committed to make a statement which I termed as a sequential statement, sequenced in such a way that they are responding to all the issues we raised on the floor of Parliament. And once that is done, then we will also commit to go to the House, listen, and respond. Secondly, I want to restate and reiterate our earlier position, that the opposition will continue to attend committee meetings, the opposition will continue to attend to any other activities of committees within and without uh, the confines of the parliamentary buildings. And uh, by this communication, I want to ask of uh, our members chairing committees, oversight committees of parliament, the, the four accountability uh, committees, Park Central, Park Kosase, 
pack of government and government assurance to continue doing their work. But in the same breath, ask and advise other chairpersons of committees of parliament to desist from appearing to be enforcing what is unenforceable, to restrain themselves from wiseacking, okay, chasing our members of parliament from committees. They have no such power. They are acting in total disregard of the law and common sense. So they should desist from doing so. And I want to ask my members where they find it to defy any chairperson attempting to do so. First of all, um, last week we had the party whips. And uh, probably the mistake we made, we never give them occasion to speak on their own. But right now, every party literally has stated its position. And there's not anything to hide from. Including this morning in the shadow cabinet, the DP whip came to communicate a party position. Um, I, I don't have powers to reprimand uh, whips. Uh, that's not my space. My space is to lead the willing and to persuade the, um, the misled. That I am doing so well. And uh, don't be shocked to, to answer to uh, my brother's question here, relatedly, that well as party headquarters are trying to assert their presence here, I can tell you that uh, the members have defied most of their party headquarters. It's not good for a party to, to a member to defy their party. It's not something I advocate for. Members should always listen to their parties. But as long as the parties are commanding them to do the right thing, I encourage members to defy parties that are ordering them to do the wrong thing. I am a consensus builder, and I love consensus. But it must be consensus on matters that are really serious. But if you're going to ask members to, to simply play compliant to government whims in the failing to account for human rights, then that part should be defined. Anybody saying that the budget framework paper has come, we have been in parliament. What do you do with the budget framework paper when it comes? It is simply laid. So people are willing to simply go and receive a BFP laid. Is that serious business? It is laid and sent to committees where we actually sit. So have members forgotten uh, how parliament works? Laying, sent to a committee where we actually are. So I encourage members to educate their parade quarters how parliament functions. So whoever is using the BFP as an excuse uh, is simply being frimsy and should be ignored. Otherwise, um, what we are trying to do without necessarily working to fracture parties, this platform is not supposed to be fracturing cohesion of parties. This platform should be a unifier of parties. But then I advise party leaders to, re to be sensitive to the issues over which we boycotted the parliament. They must be alive. The party leaders must be alive. If they play blind, they'll have nobody to lead. It's one thing to occupy a, a party headquarters and one thing not to have anybody following you. So I want to implore whoever is occupying a party headquarters as a leader to be sensitive to the issues in the public, to also respect the fact that as leaders in parliament, we can never raise a boycott for the sake of a boycott. It's because it's a boycott over very serious issues in this country for which we are demanding for accountability. And therefore, we cannot relent or even fizzle about it. As to whether members are going to flex in the committees, my members are very restrained but they are very resilient. And whoever is going to fall apart to their resilience, I don't know how it will happen, but they are very firm and resilient, and I will encourage them to defy 
any chairperson who attempts to raise this matter because this the matter they're trying to implement has no space in law and in our rules. So be ready to see defiance across. But I've spoken to so many chairpersons of committees and they're sounding extremely reasonable. So I do not know what had become of uh, my brother Fox. Probably was foxing himself. So I have advised my members to ignore uh, his I irregular um, instructions. Sadbiti um, Awede, Twabategeza Evidi Wo, Ela Noko Bategez, Noko Oweya Mwegwanga, and we to ask you that we to ask you today. In Chiarero, cabinet today. Ela ngazen ju kubiriza. Ni tu salao, ni tu angelo kuku meza ensonga zetu a salao. Omwezi kati malamba. Nti. Tetu genda genda muluchi kula pala metolo lukale. Oktu sanga governmenti. E wado we yam, nera gano we tege fu, o kudam, ensonga ze tuwa lambika, ate mwula amlo kufu. E choku vili, tuze moku katiliza, nti ababaka wa opposition, bade mbo kusigalanga watu ulamu uchiko, uchiko wa parliament wa wenja ulo, ngojieko wetu kule mbele anga opposition, eno uchiko wabulala. Ela ni mbawa, ni tuwa wa magezi, okujemela chia person wa komitie na agezako okubali mesokutula mbuchiko. Basigale mbuchiko obo wakole, e iba suwiru wa makula mbuchiko obo. Ela susubila mtuye na kufayo na uichifana nye ichilala. Ila njagara kubo kwa tegeza, nti chituwa sala o, omwezi mulamba, tuwali mubaka wa opposition ni yena. Agena maso kwe kwasa, nti ya chitegeira. Oya wade tachimanyi, wata chitegeira, ayongila chitegeira, nituwa kisala o da mwezi mulamba, jokubantu tulamu wichiko o. Ensonge ndala, biba nafe, ababa mbibine bimu, awele duwe bila giro, nga abe fudisi, na badipi, ntivo bawala gide kubitewe bia abwe wakuda yomo parliament. Oba wali yo statement, oba tuwali statement, e kore dua. Tuwa gulo kutege za e guanga. Ntifengaba kule mbezi po position in parliament. Tetugienda kola wanampala kubibina bia abufuzi. Na ye, tuino vuna izibuwa okunyo nyore gana neba nafe avali mu parliament, okutege la HHRU wo, Atina uwa chitegeze vina mwebava. Mkisee la chino, tucha alwani roku lwa wikanga tuwela wamu tuambulira wamu. Abaka pa parliament ya haba wawa wele duwebila giro. Fetuba kubiriza. Okutunulio bulu njibwe guanga. Bakole bulu njibwe ansi. Sose bulu njibwe achibina. Ila tuloza anti bulu njibwe ansi ya jetu kumira wamu. Olufanyumanga tumazo kula bulu njibwe ansi. Bulu mtu wanada yona alimo mtalagwe. Mchibina muava. Ebila kibi ya speaker biya wa Echirunji Na ye tabifude Kwa bigo berira Ngabe tuwa abiru ozako na endo za wabiru ozako Ela bolabo umuntu Nga echintachi goberede Tomuwele nembia Ainzo kulo ozanto inalu kongolo No recho Waka pafe Tuwa gambi wagende maso nga tulambu chiko Singa wanaba o eki singa kwa o tia chini zote lozi sokola weshia. Nemu kisera chino, naba ndiyo kama mluchi kwa ulumu na speaker, ulua kachi kwa, akasunzura walonde dua president, tuwalo yisemu bulungi nyio, ngalwali ya sunzema mone runwe, ili chini chini subira. Ndoza speaker, ya abakulembero bichi kwa, gumani la bidiko, nemu kila ogena ngamu kulungo lo kizi kizi kwa yamuta tegeera. Ngamuwe bila gideo, ebi echi impatira. Uwanga, umukulu wa parliament, ya bila zeshi okola. Ntulu, gezi gezi, umukulu unga, telu ina makulu. Ababaka bafeba gende maso. Suwa gala kula ababaka angaba, bati obole buwa. Nge echi akulidua mkachiko, akama teka. Ile echi unye santi, abaka kubili zanga na uba kubadna mateka. Nga na mateka gata andikiru wakutu wa sula gata puta. 
no recha abaka bafe mugene maso mu buchiko obo mukolo muri mugwa mmwe mukolo bwa kalondozi mu buchiko obo ebina babisinze kawo era tujja kuba tubikanya ko ngo tukola buli jonga tudde wano fenna e tuba uli laba kulu abo era tuba we kitibo ekinnaku abo bonna aba wakanya kitwakola twali avayo na chakola kirala nindi ride bibatu waka magezi okola nesi nabira ba mu buwandi kebwa bigambo byawe njala kulooza anti nabo ekyokola te bachimanye ba wo mukisa faba manje tukola tuba wo kulembeze ku nsonge eno ene echo gama anti batu gama anti batu tegera ba ulirize bajja kutegera echo kubire tituina nje okanya lisuze mbibina ensonge eno bucyabulwanga lwa mindi etugase ngai bibine ebyenja ulo mwadde wano mu press conferences bwe mpita kokase yawa mu opposition ababaka abajja mu bala mu bunji bwawe bajja ekifana nyeche ebina byo nebiri mu opposition nene ababaka abakulembeza ebina njaruba wa magezi nte ensonga bajikwate no bwegendereza bainzo okwesa nganga bakulembedde ntebe zaabwe na bizimbe ngabaka tebabalina so ba bagula matu baulirize bagoberere sinzo mu kubagala ababaka bajemele bibina byawe ne ensonge ziruwo abakulembeze bibina batazikwata na bwegendereza zija bala kanga be kulembera na simbo za bibina byuka na ntebeze batula well this morning we have had an in-house meeting uh, regarding the investigation in regard to the issues we are investigating the the prime witness and that is the honorable Kinyamatama wrote to this committee that she will not be able to appear before us due to some circumstances beyond our control and now uh, we have accepted that because we need to give time to every witness whom we have summoned to appear here to prepare himself or herself. And that's why today we have had an in-house meeting to decide when can we be able to uh, resume. And we have resolved that on the 7th of December, the committee will uh, continue with the investigation into the issues of the misconduct of the Honorable uh, Member of Parliament, Honorable Zake. That is on the 7th of December. Uh, regarding the standover uh, in the, the various committees, especially here, you recall there was uh, some rumors being reported that uh, some members were being blocked, that the security was blocking people at the gate. And uh, we rule over that. We said there's no one, there's no security block, no one has been blocked. The speaker last week uh, made, actually on, uh, made a communication. But that communication should have been forwarded, should have been directed, should have been forwarded to the committee, committee leaders. They, I mean, the, the directives which the, the speaker gave all in the, her communication it was in regards to Rule 85 of the Rules of Procedure. That is the general behavior of members of parliament. And uh, we looked at uh, Appendix 5, F5, F12 rather, Appendix F12 of the Rules of Procedure, which states that for any matter which is not provided for, for, mem for members may seek advice of the speaker or of the Committee on Rules, Privileges and Discipline. Uh, the directive of the, of, the, of the speaker regarding suspending uh, members who have not been appearing in the house for 15 days and so forth, those who are on uh, the, the sit-down strike or have walked out of, of parliament, it, is not, uh, it has not been provided. And we, 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 we find it very difficult to implement that. No... Uh, sectoral leader or no chairperson of any committee can legally stop any member from attending because no written communication has been forwarded by the clerk to the committee chairperson. And that's why yesterday I asked the Honorable Lokwago, 
can you provide, can you give that evidence, can you provide that proof that yes, a directive has been issued and this is. Because you cannot quote that, yes, the answer states that, the answer record shows that the speaker gave a directive. But that directive cannot be, it, it cannot, uh, be implemented if the clerk has not forwarded it to the DP, I mean to the chairpersons of the different committee. So we are waiting whether the, the clerk will forward it this afternoon or tomorrow. In any case, regarding this issue, the work of the Committee on Rules, Discipline and Privileges of Parliament, one of its cardinal rule or mandate is to guide the presiding officers, to, to guide the speaker and the deputy speaker in the implementation of the rules, much as they are the, the, the sole custodians of the rules, they are supposed to be guided. Uh, everyone is entitled to his interpretation, but the, the truth, I mean the truth, would still stand. The speaker communicated, yes. It was verbal, recorded on the answer. But a directive has to be forwarded by the clerk of parliament. That is when the directive will begin to what? To take, I mean, to take on. Uh, it is the, is a, it, the, I mean, we can seek guidance from the speaker, and the speaker can also seek guidance from the Committee on Rules, for which we have already done. We have already met the speaker on the same, and uh, whatever we have discussed with the speaker cannot now bring it here to you people, because uh, we have not been given the mandate. I'm not a spokesperson of the speaker. You know, well, well, we communicated to all the members of this committee. We wrote to them that they must all come, they must come and attend the committee meeting. And that's why you look at the composition of the members. You see now, FDC, NU, uh, what of you, uh, Mar Cecilia, Gual. So the directive is that our position as committee, as committee on rules, no official communication has been forwarded by the clerk to the committee chairs to stop any member from attending committee meeting. That's the position. So we want to put the record clear. Okay. Okay. He acted on his own, and I think that is the excitement, legal excitement. I call it legal excitement of the honourable chair, because he should have uh, should have known as the chair of of legal committee, that for you, for one, to act on the communication of the speaker, there must be a what? A formal, a written document that you can prove, you can lay, that this is what I have, what I've received from the clerk, and I'm acting on this. So it was just a, a legal excitement of the Honorable Fox. Honorable members, as you recall, on 19th October 2023, the presiding officer granted executive 30 days to respond to matters that were raised by leader of opposition. The Minister of Defense, no, the Minister of Security, wrote to me and asked for an additional one week, which ended yesterday. I am now directing that the executive presents the report to this house tomorrow. The executive, let's be accountable to this country, let's be transparent, and let's do what we've been sent to do in this house. So let's have the report tomorrow presented on the floor. I want to thank you so much. And thank you for coming for the sitting. The VP, welcome uh, in the public gallery this afternoon of this country, Honorable Jessica Lupo Epel, Honorable Ogwang Peter, Honorable Ogwang Peter, Minister of Sport. Uh, honorable, honorable members, Honorable members, I gave an order which I I need a response from executive. Can I first hear from executive? Right, Honorable Speaker. 
following your directive government will give the statement as you have directed through the minister of internal affairs tomorrow i just want to assure you that it will be here tomorrow i thank you thank you so much uh, the prime minister uh, uh, the vice president Uh, uh, right honorable speaker colleagues the matter which the right honorable speaker has raised is indeed pertinent to government and indeed all of us and right honorable speaker yesterday in cabinet his excellency the president himself highlighted that government through responsible ministries departments and agencies should expeditiously handle that matter and share the facts with the members of this house but most importantly also members of the community it is an issue madam speaker which is being handled professionally and therefore i would like to assure members of this house that let's work as a team and give due diligence and allow uh, uh, appropriate time to those that are handling mat the matter. If they are here on the floor of the house and they ask for some ample time, let's give them that respect so that they do due diligence and give us a full report that is satisfactory and that is uh, uh, factual. So right honorable speaker, I want to thank you for the concern, but also assure you that government is taking up the matter even at its highest level. I thank you, Speaker and colleagues. Thank you so much. Uh, meanwhile, as we give the government time, we will receive a partial report tomorrow.